Okay, here we have a hypothetical cube. So this is a three-dimensional uh, object. Uh, a hypothetical cube grows so that the length of its sides are increasing. So we know that we have a DL, or we can even call DS, DT. can't remember what I put on the other side. Uh, how fast is the volume? So we want to know the dv dt when the sides, at the exact moment in time, that the sides are 7 meters each. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to state what we know. The side rate is changing um, at 3 meters per minute. The diagram of the cube growing would maybe look something like this. Um, the, in fact, the cube in all directions is changing, right? Because it's the volume is increasing. The formula for a cube is area is equal to sides cubed, and the surface area is there's six sides, right? Uh, so sorry about that. It's six times the area of the side. So that's a capital S right there. So for each one of those squares, the area of the square, there's six of those, right, for the surface area. All right, and then we need to find dv dt at the exact moment when the side length is 7 meters. So we start with the volume formula. Volume equals uh, sides cubed. So when we take the derivative of this, we're going to get 3 sides squared ds dt which is what we have right there. We have, whoops, dv, because it's the, we're finding the change of the rate and the volume. So dv dt is equal to 3 side squared ds dt. I'm probably going to have to change that. Yep. So I should go back through and correct all these first. All right. So we know the side length at the exact moment that the side is 7 meters, so we plug that in, and the formula is side squared, so 7 meters squared ds dt is 3 meters per minute. Well, 7 meters squared is 49 meters squared, and then we just multiply through, and now we have the change in volume is 400. Uh, is increasing, the volume is increasing at 441 meters cubed. Remember, it's three-dimensional, so this meter squared times this meters is meters cubed per minute. All right, that's it for this volume one.